unique way, it's refreshing to say that rain, not COVID, is once again the bigger threat to keeping fans out of Target yeah. Field. Just like old times, mm. Thursday's home opener will be the first time since the 2019 playoffs that actual fans, not cutouts, will be at the Twins' home game. 10,000 people allowed per game, and Fox 9's Rob Olson is live at the ballpark tonight to give us a rundown of how this is going to work. Rob? Yeah, you know, you talk about all the preparations that go into a home opener, but especially now to get fans back in with COVID safety precautions in place, you hope that rain doesn't wash all that away. Now, a lot of the changes here, a lot of things that we're used to, you got to wear masks, there's social distancing in place, but there's also some uh, technical improvements to make things touchless, things that were in the works already, but COVID just sped those up. Target Field always gets a pretty thorough pressure washing before games, especially the home opener. But this time, there's way more on deck than that. We executed it very well in Fort Myers, and we're following basically the same template here at Target Field. The spring training tested COVID protocols include the now fairly standard screening questions to enter, which you can answer online ahead of time to speed things up. And then your tickets this year, all digital, all delivered via the MLB Ballpark app. No paper tickets this year. Tickets are only digital so that nothing changes hands, not even cash for concessions. It's the Ballpark app. Um, it's what you use to get in here with your tickets anyways. As for the food here, they're offering about 85% of the normal menu, but streamlined. And the change is that you have to order it on the app and pay with the app, and you'll get a message when it's ready to pick up. Meant to avoid congestion, it also means fans don't waste time in lines. This is something that's been in, in progress for a while, and then, you know, COVID just sped everything up. Three quarters of the seats in the ballpark are zip tied shut, so the approved clusters stay that way. Now, in each row, there are chunks of four seats or two seats that are available, and they're staggered so that there's no one ever sitting in front of you and no one ever sitting behind you. What they do want in here is Reduce real fans making real noise. High and deep to right center. Just the small amount of fans. We had 2,400 fans at each game in Fort Myers. Just the noise that they were able to make was great for our players. Yeah, and they're looking forward to hearing that noise of 10,000 fans here in Target Field. Again, beginning Thursday afternoon for the home opener, and Fox 9 will be here as we always are, except, of course, you know, last year. But uh, we'll be back again for this home opener uh, as well, again, about a quarter capacity of the stadium. One other change I should mention here, by the way, is the bag policy severely limited this year. You can't bring in bags other than diaper bags or medically necessary bags like insulin kits or a very small clutch type handbag. And the reason for that is they don't want security searching anything because they don't want to touch anything. So that's another uh, change that will happen to keep things as safe as possible. Live at Target Field, Robles and Fox 9.